Good morning everyone, today we're going to be talking about upgrading on a budget because I've heard a lot of people coming up to me saying, Caro, upgrading is way too expensive, it's too difficult, there's no way I can make that much money, and it's impossible to progress in this game. Well, in today's video, we're going to be covering all of that. But first of all, if you're new to the channel, I upload NGS content daily, so if you do play this game, I would really appreciate a subscribe as it really helps out the channel. Anyway, without further ado, let's begin the video. All right, so the very first thing I want to talk about are weapons, because weapons are the most impactful piece of gear that you get once you upgrade to a new weapon. You can see those big damage numbers, and it directly affects your gameplay. So regarding the weapon, you do want to go with a 7-star rarity weapon because of its attack power. Now, I do know there are a lot of numbers floating around. There's the whole uh, spreadsheet made by Cake which actually tells you that, hey, the three-star rarity weapon when it's fully maxed out isn't too bad either. You know, it's comparable with a Kaiser, all of that stuff. And yes, you could go with a three-star weapon with a really high fixa, but keep in mind that those numbers, in order to be comparable with a Kaiser or to be stronger than a lot of the seven-star rarity weapons, it does require maxed out gear or like close to min-max gear. So I personally just think that, hey, you should just go with a seven-star rarity weapon, play it nice and simple, and that way you don't really need to play any mental gymnastics with all those number crunching. And uh, I personally just think it's just easier this way. But if you do want to go with the three-star rarity weapons and you do want to play with all of those numbers, I will leave the link to that spreadsheet in the description below. And then you can do the number crunching yourself and see if you can save yourself a little bit of Meseta. However, I personally am very simple. I just stuck with the Kaiser weapon because I made one. However, with the prices of the rugged weapons dropping like a rock, I would wait another week or maybe two weeks and then you should be able to afford your Kaiser weapon for relatively cheap. It's definitely going to be under 10 million for sure. And if you you don't want to spend your hard-earned Meseta because 10 million is still quite a bit of Meseta, you can always just wait for the Ordinal Tower to come out and just do that because there is no rule against having to do it solo. So you can literally just get your powerful friends to run it with you, you get that title, you get your Obsidia weapons for free from the title, and boom, you have a 7-star rarity weapon, you're good to go. Now another option is of course the MK1 weapons with your Arx record badges, but you know the Arx record badges with Sega screwing us over all the time, it kind of is an inconsistent way to get a weapon series. So I would still get my Arx record badges every two weeks whenever I can, but I wouldn't depend on that to get my MK1 weapons because of just how inconsistent it is. But with the Ordinal Tower coming out relatively soon, that is going to be a surefire way to get your Obsidia weapons, which are better than your Kaiser weapons, okay? So you probably want to go with the Obsidia weapon if you have not made a Kaiser weapon. And if the rugged weapon that you personally want to use is way too expensive on the market and you just don't want to farm for it, then Obsidia weapon is the way to go. It's free, it's a title reward. You're gonna get your seven star rarity weapon. Next thing I wanna talk about is of course the armors. Now I know everyone wants the new shiny toy, which is of course the Ephetus armor. However, you don't need the Ephetus armor. As I showed in two or three videos ago, the Ephetus armor is a small DPS increase. Yes, it is a DPS increase. So if you are looking for the best of the best and you only care about the best of the best, then yes, you probably want to go with the Ephetus armor. However, you don't need to immediately upgrade there in one fell swoop. You could always take baby steps. So what I would recommend is maybe you could start off with the Sasato armor. Because look at the Argos, they're going for 2,000 Meseta, the Sheza's for 1,000 Meseta, and the Belta's going for 1,000 Meseta. So you can pick up these armor pieces relatively cheap and just use some really cheap augments and just use it as a placeholder until the Ephetus armors drop in price. Or maybe you get lucky and you actually get a drop your Yourself. Now, if you're already using a Sestato armor or even the Sorzest armors, and you don't want to upgrade all the way to the Ephetus because you don't want to re-augment everything, but you want to feel a little bit stronger, there is a way to upgrade your armors to make them a little bit stronger. And that is, of course, with the Fixa system. So with the Sorzest armor, for example, that's the ones that I'm using, we can go to product search over here. We'll go to armor. We'll type in the Sorzest so that we find the exact armor, Sorzest armor. And right here, you can tick preset skills. So let's do level three and above, and I can search by price. So you can see over here that these have Fixa Enthusia, which actually increases my offensive PP recovery by 4%. So this only costs 300,000. This is significantly cheaper than going with an Ephetus armor. So I can just buy this, pop this onto my existing armor and gain that Fixa. And we can see over here, there's another Enthusiast. Here's a Performa for 500,000. That's PP consumption minus 3%. 
It doesn't seem like much in the beginning, but that's actually quite a big deal. It allows me to do an extra photon art or two, which is pretty awesome. And then if we go even further, you can see over here, there is a fixed a natural level four, which increases my natural PP recovery speed by 4.5%. Now, this used to be absolutely useless because you didn't regenerate PP while you're running around. However, remember with the bouncer add-on skill, you now regenerate PP while you're moving around. So this is actually really, really powerful having this extra recovery speed of 4.5%. But I'm sure most of you guys are not using Sword Zest armors. So let us actually take a look at the Sasato armor. So again, we're going to type in Sasato armor. We're going to do preset skills, level three and above, search by price. And sure, they're going to be a lot more expensive. However, keep in mind that the first one right here, 1.5 million, is a fixed guard three. This is actually a big deal. Damage resistance plus 3%. This is really worth it, in my personal opinion, because uh, just getting that extra tankiness, that damage reduction is really, really nice. But you know, 1.5 million for these upgrades might be a little bit too rich for your blood. So we can lower it down to level two. And bam, this is a lot more affordable. 400,000 over here. We got some enthusiasts. We got some natural. We got performers. We got a variety of different fixes, which you can add onto your armors. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to purchase this Sword Zest armor with the Fixa Natural Level 4 to show you how to transfer fixes. So we're going to click on this. We're going to purchase this. Bam. And yes, let's, let's send the kudos. TYTY. Bam. So now you can see over here, I have a Fixa Natural Level 4. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this Fixa Natural Level 4 onto this current armor that I have fully augmented, but with no Fixa. So we're going to talk to the item lab technician. We're going to go add preset skills. We're going to click on our base item, which is the one with all of our augments. So there's our base. And then we're going to click on the one with the fixa, which is the material. And once we click on it, it's going to come up with this add preset skills. One or more of the following applies to this item. Are you sure you wish to proceed? It's a rarity of a four star and above. And at max enhancement level, we're going to say yes, no problem. And boom, you see, now we can put in our fixa natural level four onto our new piece of armor. Now it will cost one NEX cube. 40 tetracyte as well as one photon scale, but that's not a big deal. You guys should probably have a bajillion of those because uh, of all the randomite that we had before. So you're going to say yes. You don't need to use any support items. I don't think there are any support items at the moment. But as you can see here, our base item is our plus 60 sword zest armor with our five augments. And then the one that's being consumed as the material is going to be the one with the fix of four. We're going to click yes and boom, complete. Fix a natural four has been added. And now you can see that my fully augmented armor now has a fixed a natural level four, while that extra piece that I bought has been consumed because it was used as a material in order to transfer the fixa over. And because of that, now I have natural PP recovery speed plus 4.5%, which is going to be really, really nice when I'm fighting bosses. I'm just running around in combat zones and stuff. My photon power will just naturally recover a lot faster. But next up, I want to talk about the augments themselves because a lot of people are going, Carol, it's so expensive to get all these augments. I need stat four. I need boss soul four. I need all of these things and I do understand that it is expensive if you want to jump to min max territory but before you jump the gun and upgrade to a boss soul 4 I just want to show you the difference between dust soul 4 and dust soul 3 the HP is exactly the same however you just gain a 0.5% DPS increase and look at the price dust soul 3 is going for 4,000 meseta versus dust soul 4 which is going for 48,000 meseta all right so there is no real reason that you should be going for Ball Soul 4 unless you are going for min-max territory. Because you are literally paying 10 times the price for a 0.5% damage increase, alright? It is not worth that much unless you have the money and you're stupidly rich and you're going for min-max. At the beginning, it's perfectly fine to get your endgame armor or whatever armor that you want to use and just use a Dust Soul 3 or a Ball Soul 3 for now. And then when you can afford it, eventually upgrade it to a boss soul 4. You don't need to do it all in one go. And keep a sharp eye on the SG treasure shop. Sometimes you might get lucky and you can see right here, Frostal Soul 3S. This has a 100% success rate, costs 50 star gems, and it'll save you a bunch of meseta. Because in order to get an 80% success rate on Frostal 3, you need 10 of these capsules. And let's take a quick look at the market. They're going for about seven to 8,000 meseta each right now. So that means you need to spend about 70 to 90,000 meseta in order to have an 80% chance to gamble your Frostal Soul 3. Versus the treasure shop, you can just spend 50 star gems and buy this, and this is a 100% success rate and boom you don't even need to spend meseta now of course you do need to spend 50 star gems but personally i think this is worth it especially if you're on a budget 
because, uh, well, this is going to save you a lot of headache. However, this is a different story if you're playing a technique or a range user. Because look, if we look at Renesol 4 over here, it costs 6,000 to 7,000 Meseta. While if we look at Renesol 3, it's about 1,000 to 2,000, right? So in this situation, I would just jump straight to Renesol 4 simply because the price difference is only three times and not 10 times, right? But again, you know, if you can't afford it, it's not the end of the world. You can just go Renesol 3 or you can even just go Amsol 3 because you see Amsol 3 is also really good. Gives the HP PP tech and let's look at the price. Yeah, it's a thousand Meseta. You could also just go with the Amsol 3, but don't go to Amsol 4 just yet because again, you can see the price is 42,000. You're paying 42 times the price just to get that 0.5% potency versus if you go Amsol 3, which is pretty much exactly the same stats, just 0.5% less, but you're paying 42 times less the price just to go with this. So the point that I'm trying to make over here is you do not need to jump to the newest augments. You do not need to jump to the newest armor immediately on day one. It's going to be expensive. Only the min-maxers and the people with a lot of Meseta are going to be able to afford that. It's perfectly fine to start off with budget augments and then slowly work your way up to eventually get to your end game. You do not need to jump from budget tier stuff to end game immediately. It's a progression system. You start at budget, then you go to mid tier, then you go to end game. Sure, it might cost you a little bit more Meseta if you do it this way, but you're going to have a much more smoother experience while progressing through the game and farming for all of your different items. And if you really don't want to spend any of your Meseta, you can simply farm for all the items and um, that way you don't spend anything at all. So in conclusion, upgrading your gear as well as augments is not super crazy expensive it's only when you want to get the best of the best then you are paying for a premium for regular players you can just stick with the level three augments you do not need to go level four you don't need mastery four you don't need bossle four you don't need stat four there are plenty of alternatives to replace those augments at a fraction of the cost and you're going to stick with those for now until you can eventually afford the level four souls or maybe in like you know a month they're going to add the crafting system where you can upgrade all your level three capsules to level four capsules and well then you'll be able to upgrade all of your stuff to level four without having to bust the bank special thanks to all the members for supporting the channel it really means a lot to me thank you again but yeah, that's all I wanted to cover in today's video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, I would appreciate a like and a subscribe. And I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video. Bye!